Today, Kevin and I are at Gorgeous State Park in Sapphire, North Carolina. We got in last night, we set up camp, and now we gotta go this morning and check in. So we're headed to the visitor center. Today is just gonna be a day of exploring. So we're looking forward to it, we're hoping to get off road a little bit. We got a beautiful campsite. It's site number 20, has fire pit, large area for a tent, a canopy, picnic table, nice level concrete pad. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get going. All right, we are all checked in. We are going to be taking Chestnut Mountain Road, which is a four-wheel drive road. I think it's gonna be gravel and dirt, we'll see. We're not real sure what we're getting into, but I think it's not, it's fairly easy to do. We'll find out, there has been some rain. So it says all vehicles must use four by four or all wheel drive and eight inch minimum ground clearance is required. Grades in excess of 25% next Ooh. four miles. <laughs> Here we <good>. go. <laughs> See what happens. They're calling this a connector trail. So we're not sure if it's one way or two lay way, but we've heard different accounts. This does connect to the Auger Hole Trail, and then there are other trails in the area, but if they're gated off down here, we're gonna have to come back this way. And so that may be where the confusion lies, is that a lot of people do find the gates closed and then end up coming back this way. Or maybe they're just trying to get back to their campsite. We are at the end of Chestnut Mountain Road. Down this way is the Toxaway Game Lands. 
it is misting pretty good now. It really doesn't show just how steep that is, but it is steep. Kevin's just looking everything over. It's starting to rain a little bit out here. That's gonna make it interesting on the trails. I'm thinking this is maybe how you get the auger hole road. And they got the gate closed. So we can't go that way. This is definitely different terrain than Florida, that's for sure. The camera doesn't really do the elevations justice, I don't think. All right, so I was just looking at the map and actually Auger Hole Road is that way. I got turned around. So we're gonna see what's down there. Continuing down Auger Hole Road. So far, it's not been anything too difficult. Lots of undulations and a little bit of dampness. But yeah, I learned that. It's been pretty easy for Kevin, and I'm hoping to get a chance to drive here in a little while. <laughs> so we're in a 2021 Jeep Wrangler JLU, it's a Willys edition, and it's slightly modified. Not not a ton of stuff done to it, but it does pretty good. I have a three and a half inch lift from Metal Cloak and 35 inch tires, and then also a lunchbox locker in the front axle. So far on this trail, I think um, a stock Jeep would be fine. I don't think you'd have any issues. Really any kind of four wheel drive vehicle with um, some high clearance would be fine. I don't, so far I don't think in, you know, you'd have any issues. It's been, uh, there was one area where the incline was pretty steep and I was in two wheel drive and it started spinning the rear tires. So I did put it in four-wheel drive to, just to stop from spinning. Um, so two-wheel drive could have a um, couple areas where it might struggle. But yeah, I think any four-wheel drive uh, vehicle would, wouldn't have too many issues from what I've seen so far. Weather depending for sure. It, we're getting a little bit of rain today. So it's getting a little slick, but it's still not too bad. Um, Yeah, I think any four-wheel drive would be fine. It's definitely getting a little tighter in here now. <laughs> a little wetter. But the sun is coming up. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we got a good drop off down here now too. And the camera doesn't do it a lot of justice, but the roads over there that we're gonna be heading to.
bridge is closed. So this is, I believe, the Horse Pasture River. What a beautiful river. It would have been fun crossing here and continuing on, but they do have it closed. Still, it's gonna make a beautiful spot for lunch. All right, so we did Chestnut Mountain Road, and that was about 3.3 miles, took us 32 minutes. Then we got to Auger Hole Road, and that was 3.3 miles to get to this point. It continues on, but they have it closed, it looks like from September to January. And that took us about 45 minutes. But this is pretty cool, it's why we got a Jeep. That's why we got Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be out here doing this stuff a lot more. You ready to get us back out of here? <laughs> I'm not sure. We're <laughs> gonna try. And you would not have seen me doing this a couple years ago, but I'm out here and yes, I need to get better. I need to practice with throttle control big time, but I'm proud of myself. These are some sharp curves and a lot of ups and downs. Chestnut Mountain Road and Kevin's gonna take over because I gotta go to the bathroom and it's hard for me to <laughs> drive and go home so but yes I had fun I definitely feel like I need a lot of practice with the throttle I, I, I kept lurching and that's not good but also in Kevin's Jeep I have a little more trouble reaching with the gas pedal because I have an extension on mine which I'll show you guys that but yeah, the things you gotta deal with sometimes when you're short. <laughs> well, that was definitely a fun trail. It wasn't too difficult. Um, just a lot of ups and downs, but definitely want to come back at some point and try to do the trails that were closed. That would be fun we could get back up here and do that sometime. Nice. I really enjoyed it. So we decided to come down 
Highway 107 and see what Big Bend Road looks like. And if there's, uh, there's supposed to be a waterfall down here, a really powerful one. And it's late in the afternoon. I don't know if we're gonna do it today, but we're gonna check it out. So at least we know if it's worth coming back to do it another day. The road is located right across from the Cherry Hill Recreation Area. And right off, it's looking kind of narrow. But it's an obvious road. some pretty good sized ruts here. I don't know if a two-wheel drive vehicle would do very well with this. Kevin's gonna come up. came to the what well, seems to be the end here and there's a fire pit there's a car parked here I'm assuming they're out hiking somewhere Kevin's having a heck of time getting turned around here <laughs> the road does continue on but it really does get kind of gnarly we're going to walk it and see where it takes us. Oh, you are entering wild and scenic Tatuga River area. Water levels and conditions may change quickly. Wading and swimming in fast moving currents have resulted in several recent drownings. It says it's a 17 minute hike according to this. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh no, there's no way. <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't take the Jeep down here? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's looking rougher and rougher as you go. Well, imagine getting down here and then realizing it's too hard to get back up. All right, this is what it's become. It is not a Jeep trail anymore. <laughs> There's a sign down here and we're seeing remnants of steps. Oh, actual steps, all right. Oh, the river. Right back up in there. Yeah, Let's keep going. Trail. What'd you say? Foothills trail. I knew I'd make it onto the Foothills trail. 
<laughs> I think we're continuing down now a little anyway. The general consensus between me and Kevin is this is probably a strenuous rated trail. <laughs> if anyone tries to tell me otherwise, I'm going to say they're wrong. I'm going to peek over here real quick. These steps don't look that old. Nice. We are still following the Foothills Trail, which the Big Bend Trail connects to. guys I can see the falls down there but the only trails that I see going down look treacherous and I don't know if things have changed since some of the other people who have seen few videos going down there have been on these trails I'm more out but right there looks like an opening that somebody works their way down I try going down halfway and was sliding really bad and I don't want to end up sliding in that water because I will be dead but it's been a really great hike but I don't know if I'm gonna see these falls any better than that well, it's 4 30 in the afternoon we're both beat and we're just gonna work our way back to the Jeep, try to get there safe. And we are gonna try this hike another day when we're better prepared. I'll bring rope if I have to because I'm gonna see those falls. <laughs> oh man, now that was a workout. That was a good hike. It was awesome. <laughs> waterfall or no waterfall, it was awesome. That was a good hike. <laughs> we made it back to the Jeep. It's all the way down and then all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot, but it was fun. Yeah, it was. Good morning, guys. Kevin and I are headed out on another waterfall hike today. Uh, that will be in the next video. We really enjoyed yesterday's hike. It was tough and the funny thing is we went on to all trails yesterday after we got back from that hike probably should have done it before but there were a lot of people who weren't able to actually get down and see the falls so we don't feel so bad um i think the time of year matters and uh i definitely want to go back i could hear the fall that you, you could tell it was powerful now it's not supposed to be a very tall falls but and from what i saw it wasn't very tall but um it's supposed to be super powerful and i just i don't know it's a goal of mine now <laughs> i'm determined i'll be going back there and seeing those falls but today we should definitely see some falls and i'm looking forward to it i hope you enjoyed the video that drive yesterday was fun i really 
got to enjoy trying some off-roading, which I haven't done a lot of. And now that I have my own Jeep, I'm going to be doing a lot more of. So it's good practice. And I think we're going to be doing some more off-roading this week also. But you guys, if we do, you guys will get to see that too. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if, t if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>